Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. So we are back with a brilliant The Plucky Squire on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now what we're going to be doing today is we are currently making our way through Boogie Beach because we're trying to find out what Humgrump is going to be doing with a massive cargo train of ore. But we've reached a bit of an impasse once again where we need to get through this door right here and we need a key and that key is over here but we can't get over there because the bridge is at and I don't know how we create a giant battery and I've messed around with a few words and all I've managed to do is create a giant metal troll so yeah a bit confused at the moment but anyway let's get straight into things right here was a solitary we changed it to battery didn't we I suppose we could speak to Mini Beard. Oh damn, we got a second one. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Apparently I can blow that guy up by the looks of it. Ah. Hang on a minute. No, we can't. Hang on a second. No light. <laughs> Flipping hell, <laughs> poor guy. Can I like? I was wondering if I could like blow him up so he goes into that. Well, I, I was definitely doing something right in the previous video. If I put battery back over here. Oh. So do I have to... Uh... So was I doing the right thing then? I was trying to get him to... Uh... I was trying to blow him up so he went over the other side. But it seems like he didn't, he didn't want to do it. No. And I can't manipulate the book. Alright, so I guess we was doing the right thing then. I don't know what the hell these little batteries are for then. Unless we use them. I don't even know what they're for. Well, I'm assuming it's to hold down the button for me. I think these are just to hold down that button over there. I think that's all they're for. Yeah, so we are doing things right. I'm just overthinking it. Or, as always, assuming that I'm doing it wrong when I'm not. <laughs> Although, getting you to come up here seems to be a bit of a chore. battery was in the way. There we go. It's just really bloody awkward to do. Lovely. And then we need to switch the goblin back into a battery. And then we can uh, use one of these batteries, I'm guessing, unless they're just random items. To uh, They might just be a byproduct of what we're trying to do. <clears throat> and I use this to weigh down the button. Because I can't stand on it, obviously. 
Oh, okay, there we go. Right, well, we were doing it right. We just... I, I don't even know what we managed to do. <laughs> Ouch. Chat. Bit of a weird key, looks like Thor's hammer. But at the moment, the rest of the gang are behind a door, and we can't uh, open that door without finding the switch. So obviously, Jot had to go on by himself yet again, while the rest of them just enjoy a nice little sit down on the beach. And apparently, we're missing one piece of art somewhere. Ahoy! Good work, Jock. Knew you'd nail it. Jock got it done. You've got one of those thinking brains, dude. That's the key to your success. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we all have a thinking brain. Just a lot of people don't want to think. So I guess the way is open. We can get to see what this Operation Hammer Time is all about. Let's get to it. Yeah, hang on a minute, you lot. I want to... Uh... I don't even think I can go back. I want to find out where the hell I've missed a piece of art. So you just lot, you lot just wait here for a second. Let me just chuck you around a little bit. Bloody annoying. I can't even go back to the vendor. I feel like it has to have been here. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, maybe not. And I don't think it would be over here. No, we already found a piece of art over here, didn't we? Hmm. Don't think it would be there, would it? Unless it's inside that crate for some strange reason, but it can't be, because then we won't be able to finish the puzzle. I don't think it would be there. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Maybe it's going to be uh, further ahead and we just, for some reason, are in the wrong order. Right, come on, you lot. Grump banners around it. Tumba. Ahead is where Hum Grump be hunkering. Tumba happy to have got you here. But Tumba has to be going home now. No, you don't, Tumba. Come on. Got some mice to be feeding. Tumba, dude. Thank you so much for getting us here. Yeah, if it wasn't for you. We'd still be loitering behind that massive iron gate. What are you, talk what are you talking about, Violet? You weren't even with us when we met Tumba. <laughs> you did amazing, Tumba. Tumba feel happy. <laughs> Made some new friends today. Tumba can't dance, but Tumba dancing anyway. Oh, that's some fantastic moves. Holy shit, Tumba, you definitely can dance, mate. What are you sweating for? <laughs> Time to feed the baby mice. So long, and good luck, friends. There goes a righteous little duckling. Tug speed, Tumba. Okay, come on. It's time to crash Humgrump's party. I was really hoping there'd be some art behind there. 
I also feel like we might have missed missed quite a few of those little uh, glitch dudes. Oh no, it's the starfish again. <clears throat> Beware, travellers. Real crazy things going on over that ridge. Okay. Our heroes climbed to a grassy vantage point and looked below to see. Oh, my God! An enormous clanking machine. It was like a brain. From the machine rolled scores of dangerous looking vehicles. Uh -oh. Which before our hero's eyes sped away towards Artia. So that's what that grubby grump has been up to. Making tanks dangerous, dangerous things. Uh, just let me go out of the world and I'll just smack him with my stamp bomb. <laughs> and that's why he chose Boogie Beach. There's a direct line from the beach to castle, you know. Well, gang, this is a dire situation, make no mistake. But you did good. You've given us warning. I'm briefing the Queen and putting the armies of Artia on the highest alert. Now, you three, it's time to get back to Artia. No time to waste. If we're going to defeat Humgrub's forces, we've got to do it together. And what do you mean together, Moonbeard? You don't do anything. <laughs> Moonbeard out. This is heavy. Those tanks are rolling straight to my hometown. So the aim of Operation Hammer Time is to hammer Artia Castle. We have to halt that hammer. Come on, let's go. And so our heroes sprinted off to Artia. Nice. I thought we were going to fight Humgrump on a boat. Chapter 8. Clash at the castle. Yeah, the narrator reminds me a bit of the guy that narrates, uh... Fat Princess. The gang arrived at Artia to see the aftermath of a great battle. The army of Artia had been thoroughly defeated by Humgrump's forces. I don't think a spear is going to do much against a tank. <laughs> Whoa, Humgrub's minions have really done a number on this place. My town, this is a disaster. The Artian Guard stands no more. Humgrub's forces, the metal beasts, all too much. I wasn't strong enough. Oh, come on, buddy. You was trying to fight a tank with a spear. I mean, that's pretty badass. That's like that guy uh, in that famous photo that stood in front of the tank to try and stop war. Can't remember what country it was in. Plucky Squire, go. Defend the castle with your bloody sword. <laughs> Protect the queen. Ugh. Oh, hello. Now we can find out if we did miss one, which I'm assuming we did. It's almost a guarantee at this point. Holy shit, look at that. Yep, we missed one. Of course we did. So we've missed five so far. This one's the most annoying though. Look at, look at the run we had of finding every single piece of art. Priorities, everyone. I've got to make sure I uh, pick up all the bulbs. Nice. We've got enough for the uh, upgrade now to our swipe attack. If we find that little vendor. Oh, shit. Hum grumpies everywhere. Yeah, and they're just going to look at us and not even acknowledge us. Look, 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 he could see us. <laughs> oh, look. 
It's the uh, it's the two bullies. Oh, we better not have to save them. Uh, if we do, I'm quitting the playthrough. Look at your fancy town now. <laughs> it's our town now. We'll make it nice and comfy. You'll see. Ah, horrid brutes. We'll show you horrid, you entitled little brats. Yeah, yeah, you tell them, vindict. You'd better get lost. Wah! See what a couple of pussies. A couple of pussies. You don't see Violet running away. Who do these grubby goons think they are? Ransacking my beautiful tan. These salt can't make anything beautiful themselves. So all they do is wreck and ruin. Well, it won't stand. Someone has to stop these bullies. It's time for me to join the fight, I thought so. I was expecting that after what uh, Thrash did in Targ Manning. Oh, go on, Chunky Lappy. All right, Violet. Mojam gang, let's do this. Are you going to help as well, Thrash? Oh, they are. Why has they got, why is their tanks, oh their tanks are shooting. Right, let me uh, blow up these. I like how they just stop fighting now. <laughs> Man, Jot is overpowered, isn't he? He's literally God. <laughs> he just, he's fucking God. You know, you could have continued fighting. You didn't need to stop. Should I be looking around for any pieces of art? I mean, stupidest time to be doing it, really, isn't it? Oh, can't go that way. I was really hoping you would have like magical spells or something, Violet, but no, you're just, just tickling, tickling them with your paintbrush. <laughs> Job done. Hum Grumpy's eliminated. <clears throat> That's sneaky. I knew they were going to do that. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very beautiful. Now, the artist in this game, the... Uh art director and all that lot. They did a fantastic job with this game. It's very beautiful. It does remind me of that Chikori game though. What? Huh? Is there some grump we haven't dealt with yet? Have those horrid brutes all gone? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Whoa, is that a Final Fantasy character? Who's this weird? <laughs> Come on, Fresh. If, if he, what if he was an ally? <laughs> I am not a weirdo. I am Humgrump's loyal mage. He sent me to disintegrate you. Oh, well, that's nice. And that is what I shall do now. Oh. A mage, huh? A magic wielder. That's what he is. Oh, is Violet going to get to have her own fight now? Guys, we won't be able to defeat this chap with a bonk on the head. Of course we will. No, a magic wielder can only be defeated by magic. I suppose it's time for me to step up to bat and finally do some damn work. Nice. Violet readied her wand. You mean Chunky Lappy readied her wand. It was time to get magical. I wanna get magical, magical. Oh, what is this? Oh shit, it's Buster Move! 
Oh, you've picked the wrong person for Buster Move. I played the fuck out of this when I was a kid. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no, no. It's, it's such a clever game, this is. Oh. Don't start cheating. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh shit. He is not taking much damage. This is quite the flipping battle, this is. Oh, shit. Oh, E. Oh, look at that. <laughs> A flipping huge damage. Oh, you're having a rough day now, aren't you, buddy? Oh, you bitch! I hate when they, when the uh, things randomly pop up right after you've already shot your bubble. Oh god! What happens if this all reaches me? Oh no! That was too easy. You're right, it was. <laughs> Mighty Witch. Violet was victorious. <sighs> and her former schoolmates, quite flabbergasted. They're not schoolmates, they're bullies. Violet, that was amazing, it was. It was bloody amazing. She, she already learned how to conjure up almost every element. <laughs> You're a natural at this magic thing. Major respect. Oh, haha, <laughs> well, you know. I've picked up a few spells and charms here and there. Hey, don't start being modest, come on. Not much, maybe, but they could be useful in a pinch. <laughs> Not much. You served that major potion pile driver. But Violet, oh, don't, don't start with all the nice shit. Nah, fuck off, you two. You're, you're always going to be bullies. We don't care. We don't forgive you. <laughs> you saved us from that creepy wizard. Well, no, we didn't. We killed the wizard because we want to get to the queen. <laughs> Your magic, it was... It was breathtaking. <sighs> it was nothing. But listen, it's not safe for you to be around here. We've cleared out the town. You should be able to get out of here okay. Get to safety. Y yes, Violet. Thank you, Violet. Okay, good. I'm glad you didn't, like, uh, get all nicey with them. Yeah, well done, Violet. You handled that like a pro. Come on, let's get to the castle. I personally would have told them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> Fucking sp spend all that time bullying me and think I'm going to be nice with you now. I, I didn't save them. What the hell? Is that hum? Such a magic battle. Such a magic battle I've never seen. Huh? Moonbeard's sorcery is even stronger than I'd heard. And soon, the main event. Jot versus Humgrump. A clash for the history books. Oh, bother. Busted again. They heard everything. I really have to stop talking to myself. <laughs> Haven't we seen them before? That, yeah, oh, there you go. That dude again. Last time we saw him, you got booted out of the book, Jot. 
So, uh, let's be on our toes. Well, unless we're going to do handstands, I don't think we have much choice but to be on our toes. Oh, look, a glitch bird. Well, that one weren't hidden very well. You found a sixth list lost glitch bird. To the untrained eye, glitch birds look similar to each other. However, each one is quite unique. For example, in its homeland, the glitch bird you just rescued is a charted surveyor. Nice. I bet there's four more we need to find and we've almost definitely missed a few. Impressive Moonbeard. Impressive. Oh shit, he got wrecked by Moonbeard. And he's the laziest git in the world. <laughs> Obviously, I am no match for your magical majesty. Of course, of course, you have always been the better wizard. Oh yes, yeah, it's written into the book. It's not your fault, Humgrump. <laughs> Me, I'm just the snivelling little talentless grump, always in your shadow. I should have known my place. I should have never dared stand against my beloved younger brother. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Man, you get wrecked by your younger brother, that is annoying. I don't even have a younger brother and that would piss me off. <laughs> The Magnificent Moonbeard. What a fool I am. What a dumb grump. Give it a rest, humgrump. Always feeling sorry for yourself. You should get out more. Do some sport. A bit of vigorous exercise. Didn't you used to like ping pong? I remember you playing it with Ma. Well remembered. It was my thing for a while. But one day you beat me at that too. <laughs> So I said, so long to ping pong. You can't just quit it just because you lose. Just do it for fun. <laughs> I do remember one of the strategies though. Misdirection. Make it look like you're on the back foot. Oh no. Then come back strong with a winning backhand. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> this is a kid's game. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, this guy has a creepy face. This game goes to Humgrump. <laughs> and now Humgrump sat upon the Arctic throne to claim his rightful role as the grand ruler of all of Mojo. Oh, that creepy grin, like the Cheshire Cat. Oh no, we lost! Oh no! <laughs> Man, Sam is going to be so confused. No, nah, they're, they're obviously bamboozling us. Oh, the de Defroner Digital. <laughs> That's genius. The Magnificent Humgrump. Oh, no. A game by one possible future. <laughs> God, a fucking genius. I'm going to be playing as Humgrump, because I, I think I prefer that, to be honest. Man, this is the bad reality where Sam doesn't want to be an illustrator. An author. <clears throat> I suppose a book with Humgrump as the, uh, a book where a villain wins is a good book. Once upon a time, there was a magnificent wizard named Humgrump. Lord Humgrump ruled the land of Mojo, overlooking all from his splendid palace. He was the ruler of Mojo because he was the greatest person who had ever lived in the land, and he knew what was best for its people.
the loyal ones would be treated with great grace and fairness and taxed at the very reasonable rate of 96%. Bastard. The disloyal ones? Well, they would be put in their place. And that was a place which was many miles underground. No, oh, no. And was known as... The Pit. The Pit, go on. Deep Doom. <laughs> That's an awful One such name. such disloyal subject was the wretched Squire Jot, who found himself now imprisoned in a cell in the depths of Deep Doom, which was exactly where he belonged. Man, the narrator is very, very stroppy. Oh, well, obviously we're going to be breaking out then. All right, well, it's probably a good time for me to end the video. So, thanks for watching, Waffle Bets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I guess uh, I guess things are going to be very different in the book now. No more jolly narrator by the sounds of it. And I guess we're going to have to... Well, I don't know, because technically in, in this new storybook, I guess Hump Grump always wins. But then again, he used the meta magic or whatever it was to change the book. So I'm assuming... Jock can use the meta magic to also change the book. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, Waffle Bets. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. It was a flipping epic one, wasn't it? Like, share, and join the pack today.